by some of you notice uh, you have a lot of difficulty with it because you're not even moving your own arms properly yet and you're trying to move an extended arm now properly so it's very difficult I sort of like to get the basics down um, yeah, all the way up even close to Shogun before we mess too much with the joke I think it kind of confuses people too a little bit they start to focus more on the stick than the basic principles of weight on your side, key extension, balance, posture, because they're worried about moving the stick, right? But you know, see key elements in that is when you when you try to affect the technique with that Joe, you have to move yourself. When you try to just move the stick, you notice you run into resistance almost immediately. Right? Right. So it's the same with the Vulcan, the sword. Um, many of these arts come from the sword. So we kind of go back to, to, to the sword occasion. From sword culture, the etiquette, the, the terminology, the, the attacks. Suki is a uh, right? So I like to reference the sword. This isn't Aida, we don't do a lot of sword work. But there are some basic forms you know, that, that I'll show you from time to time. Here's one. Notice that movement of my center. Right? I'm not simply doing this. Right? What am I doing? I'm moving the center. Dropping all of my weight underside through this blade as it comes to a dead stop. Then I turn. Okay, so that is the hot wound though. We're defending against multiple angles of attack, multiple attackers, okay? We never know what the attack's going to be, what angle's going to come from, what the weapon's going to be. So with that said, let's work on some handguns. Okay? system. I like systems because they work. Okay. So from the rear, very difficult to defend against. You can't see it, I, right? but I can feel it. Okay. It doesn't matter which way I turn. All right. What's important is that I come deep and I protect myself. Yeah. What if I turn this way? Okay, again, coming deep. Can't shoot me, right? Hi. <clears throat> so I don't know which hand it's in. I don't have to know. I, all I have to know is that I need to move properly or I'm going to die. Right? So immediately, I want to reduce the size of this target considerably. How do I do that? If I turn in place, what happens? I'm coming off the line. I'm coming off the line as I'm going to the rear. Or I'm coming off the line as I'm coming in to here. Right? Hi. There's buddies over there. Right. So, don't struggle with it. Deadly weapon? Strip? Get out. Side I turn. Here I'm grabbing up. 
What do we have? Nikio. As he comes down, this comes up. Secondary attack, secondary strike. Somebody over here, maybe? His buddy? Turn back to him. Control. Go away. Oh. Okay, so that's the system. That's the system for the rear. It doesn't matter what hand, it doesn't matter as long as I move properly. Achieved our objective there too. Right? <coughs> Two hands. Drop, come back up. Get off the line. Up over. Down. Off the line. Don't do this. Okay. <laughs> Things come out of here very fast. So I'm going to blade off the line, grab, barrel, not here, leverage here. Up, run the front side of this right down his chest, all the way to the floor. I here, I dropped underneath it. As I stand back up, Turn and the base. Right. How about back to single hand? <clears throat> Turn, strip. Yes, Turn, strip. Comes right out. Right here. Weak point. Techniques go on and on and on. Endless, right? All right? Same basic principles apply here though. You don't want to get shot. How do you prevent getting shot? You have to get off the line. And you have to stop this from following you. Okay? So as you get off the line, see? Right? Get it back to him. I call this a spear. I use a spear to just get it back to him. Okay? Hi, sir.